So hello guys, welcome to the runtime error, the place where programming begins. Today we are come across one more lead code problem of the day question that is the design and hash map. So let's check this question more deeply. So what they have asked is they have asked us to design an hash map such that we are not allowed to use any inbuilt libraries of hash tables, right? So whatever we need to implement, we need to implement using data structure apart from hash table and such that we are not allowed to use any inbuilt libraries. So there are certain rules that we need to follow. The first one is hash map that is object that will initialize my data structure. Then we need a put. So whatever the values we are going to put, we will put in terms of key value pair as. So key will be my the first value and value will be the corresponding value to its my key. Then get. So what this function says that say for example I got 2, 1, 3, 4, 7 and 8. Now they have asked us what is the value corresponding to 3. So we will return as a 4. Right. And remove. What does a remove says that? Say for example I got 1, 2, 3, 4. 6 8 and 7 sorry 1 2 3 4 6 and 7 and now we need to remove the value corresponding to the one so this whole pair will get vanished this whole pair will be get deleted right not only the value but also key value pair will be deleted so i hope so you got the meaning of this now let's make a dry run for this given example so that we can understand the things more deeply so the first they have initialized the object then we come across the put so we have inserted this key value pair that is one and one then again we come across the put and we inserted the value 2 comma 2 so it would be 2 comma 2 now we got a get so we need to get the value corresponding to key 1 so what is the value corresponding to the key 1 1 itself so what will be my output my output will be 1 right yes now again we come across the get and we need to get the value corresponding to 3 but the point is do i have the 3 in my hash table no so what they have told is if you're wanting to fetch any value and if that value is not present we will return minus one since my hash table does not contain three what will be the my output my output will be minus one so this is also done now we got a put now two comma one but the point is my hash table already contains two and its corresponding value is two but here what they were asking us they were asking us to put one so what they have told us if my key already exists we will update it to the corresponding value so corresponding value is 1 already it was 2 so simply what i will do is i will simply update it to as 1 so now this is done now again get as 2 now what is the value corresponding to key to 1 so what will be my output now output will be 1 so this is done now we come across remove 2 so we will remove this 2 now see they are asking us to remove the value corresponding to 2 so we will remove this whole pair we will remove this whole pair so this whole pair will get removed so this is done now get 2 now do i have 2 in my hash table do i have 2 in my hash table no so what will be my final output my final output will be minus 1 so this is the output corresponding to this example so i hope so you got me more precisely now let's look at the solution for this problem so before we head on to the solution the one thing i need to tell you that in hash map whatever operations we do that is insertion deletion search and update all the operation takes place in view of one time so keeping in this mind we need to make sure we have such kind of data structure that give me all the operation in view of one time so what comes in our mind if you want to insert delete update and search in view of one time so can I say we can have an array, we can have an array so that one thing we know about an array, say for example, I have this array. If I know the index of any particular value, I can easily go and fetch it or easily I can update it, right? If I know this index, I can directly go here, update, search, delete, whatever I can do. If I know this index, I can go here, I can delete, sir, update, search, whatever I can do in big of one time. Is it right? I can do anything in big of one time. So same thing, what I will do is I will simply going to have an array. Simply, I'm going to have an array. Say, for example, I'm having this array. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is my initially, um, this is my array. And what I will do is this, this index, this is my index, right? My index will be acted as a key. My index will be acted as a key. So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So these are my keys. And these will be my value. And this is what we need to store. We need to store the key and value pair, right? So this is what we are supposed to store. They have already mentioned in the question. Now what I will do is I will first initialize my whole array to minus one. 
and why am i initializing into minus one i will tell you later on so let's perform these activity what they have told to us let's make a dry run over this array so the first thing they told us what they have told us first thing they have put so we need to put one comma one so they have given one comma one so this is my key and this is my value so what is my key and as i told you my key will act my key will act as an index right my key will act as an index which means at an index one i will store this value at an index one i will store this value so at an index one i will store one earlier it was minus one so i will simply replace it to my one so this will be one so this is done then again i come across two put then i need to put two comma two so can i say can i say at an index two i am going to store the value as two because the key is acting as an index right my key is acting as an index so at two i will update this value to two i will update this value to two okay now i need to get so this is done so now i need to get at one so i need to get what is the value corresponding to key one so we know the key is index so what is the index one what is the value at its index one so what will be my output my output will be one right so this is uh, this is done then again i come across get that is three now i will check in my three what is initial value minus one which means which means my hash table does not contains a key three because you can check over here do i have a three no still eight which does not have the key as a three so what we will return minus one and even you can check in the question what they have told us if there is no any key we can return minus one this is the reason why i have initialized whole my array to minus one such that if the key i have the key but i don't have value related to the key i will simply return it to minus one so what will be my output my output will be minus one so this is done then i got put so two one i need to insert two comma one so earlier we had two comma two but now what i will do is two comma one and what they have mentioned in the question we need to update what we need to is we need to update to its corresponding value so here what i will do is in place of two it was two and i will update it to one I will update to it one. Now again, I will go to get. So what will be get two? So what is the value corresponding to key two one? So what will be my output? Output will be one. Now I come across remove. So I will remove the value corresponding to two. So what is the key? I need to remove. What I need to do is I need to remove. I need to remove. right the value corresponding to 2 so earlier it was 1 earlier it was 1 so i need to remove so simply what i will do is i will simply place minus 1 in place of it minus 1 in place of it right simply what does it mean i have removed that value because minus 1 itself means there is no value exists so this is done now i will get 2 now again i come across 2 do i have the value corresponding to 2 no minus 1 so what does it mean i have simply removed this right i have simply removed this Now, do I have the two? Let me erase this. This and this got removed. Now, here we can see, do I have the two in my hash map? No. So, if I don't have key, what I will return? I will simply return minus one. So, what will be my output? Minus one will be my output. So, this is the most easiest solution we have seen across because what we did, we simply updated the value corresponding to its index. And one of the most important thing to notice, our index is treated as a key, and its value are treated as a value of that particular key. So all the operations are mainly performed in period of one time. So I hope so you got me. Now let's look at the C plus plus and Java code for this. So this is my C plus plus code, and this is my Java code. You can refer according to your own convenience. So what I did is I simply declared the array called as hash map of this particular size. The same thing I did in Java as well. And I initialize whole array to minus one. You have initialize whole array to minus one. And again, what I did, as I told you, my key will be acting as an index. My key will be acting as an index. So at this index, I have inserted this value. So similar thing I did over here. And what I did is, we need to get the value corresponding to this key. So key, as usual, acting as an index. So what is the value at this index? That is key. What is the value at this current index? So simply it will get returned. and if we want to remove it as i mentioned earlier we will initialize to minus 1 because minus 1 itself means no value right no value so this is the most easiest solution we come across i hope so you understood this video more clearly if you want to know more about lead code solutions do subscribe runtime error